What's up? I'm Lexi Simonson. And I'm Justin Gentilla. And this is Spicy Tuna, a podcast where we talk about content or media that's new to one or both of us. We'll be covering anything from TV, movies, a bunch of other stuff. Right now we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I've seen it. And I have not. So let's get into it. Avatar! Season 3! Fire! Aang got the fucking... The hell? He has hair. Why does Aang have hair? Aren't you cold? Yeah, fucking cold-hearted. I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh! How long have we been gone? Zuko's gotta get back to that. What the fuck? We're back! We're back with Avatar oh. Season 3. Um, back with Avatar season three, getting this out of the way, SAG is on strike and I am a part of SAG, but <laughs> we got this cleared, we are good to go, so we can cover all of this, uh, yeah. all of this <laughs> season. Um, if you have, it, it, we're not going to be talking about the live action yet because we can't talk about that at all, um, but that will be in the future, so <laughs> stay tuned So many that. people I know are like, just don't do anything with Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> I literally... <laughs> <laughs> I had that thought. I was like, if you want to like have another guest on, if you want to cover something we else like, about me, you can. I was like, I can't. We can't do so much stuff. And they're like, just don't have Lexi in it. <laughs> and I was like, I can't do that. That's so funny. I, I just mean, don't have you for like five months. Five months. I'm like, I'm back. You come back, and we're like, the flow is actually yeah. Like it's a, it's way a little better bit with this yeah. guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're covering Avatar season three. We're yeah. so excited. It's been yeah. way too long. I'm yeah. just, I was literally just like, so many times I would be on Netflix and I'm like, it's right there. Yeah. I could just watch it. I'm glad I could your, just do it and your pretend. Your For You page hasn't spoiled anything. It hasn't. Answer. It hasn't. I'm I, very, I, I, I've, I've had to watch though because I'm doing the YouTube. So there are some like videos, it's like reaction videos, and I've had to like really be careful mm. what I see because yeah. there are spoilers on YouTube. Nothing <laughs> is safe. Yeah. So. Once you start careful. a show, there'll, there'll always be, like, spoilers in the r- recommended. Yeah. yeah. I was watching this show, and they're like, I was like, oh, this is cool. And then I just opened YouTube, and it's, like, character death. Cool. <laughs> I'm nice. like, fuck, dude. Nice. Um, yeah, no spoilers. And, yeah. Okay, let's get into season three, episode one, blurb. Okay, so we are back. Aang has woken up with some motherfucking hair out of a coma. Zuko is back with his baddie May. We get some intense daddy issue scenes, and the gang must be incognito. A pretty slow episode in terms of like things that happen. But Lots it's just of context. A lot of like exposition for what's to come. Yes. Uh, a lot more like an emotional episode. There's not really that much action yeah. outside of like Aang. We'll get into it later, but outside of Aang, like you know, surfing, surfing. It's more just like emotional. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The, the animation is more expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I could yeah. tell that right off the bat. I was like, yeah. oh, this is clear. This is clean. This is nice. Yeah. Um, I Everyone's hot now, too. <laughs> it's like, it's all <laughs> it's all so clear, and it's even clearer how hot everyone is. They're all like, yo, chill. I was also like, how long have... Because every, like, everyone's hair weeks. was longer. Obviously, Aang has hair, which I don't like at all. All. I, I like don't like hair. it at all. I like his hair with his he- the headband combo is cool. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. I just don't. I don't yeah. like it. I want him to be bald. I like it better bald. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. But no, everyone is like gorgeous and yeah. and Katara is so hot with her hair up like that. Oh, well, that happens later. My. That happens later. In, Does in, it? In episode two. Yeah, that's when they get their fits. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That's right. So episode one. So we have. Like, Zuko is still very troubled. Yeah. He's like, oh my gosh, he's so fucking emotional. He's very emo. He's so emo, it's insane. Yeah. Like, he is the manager of Hot Topic. It's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's, he's really in his feelings, and he's like, you know, he's conflicted it's, with everything. It's wild how just, like, yeah. Mm, yeah. broody he is. Oh, I forgot. Also, we do see the Fire Lord for the first time. <gasps> And he's so hot. Yeah, he's pretty hot. He's so hot. Like, I was <laughs> not, I was expecting him to be so much older. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I think he's probably, I think he had Zuko probably like tw- at 20 and then, you Yeah, know. they were young parents. Yeah. Which makes sense. They've made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. like, you know, that happens. I think he's probably like in his early 40s or like late 30s. Yeah, that bone structure is insane. Yeah. Insanity. Um, you know who's playing him in the live action? 
I mean, no, we Ew. can't really talk about it, I guess. But uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh. But yeah, so we open and we see Aang waking up from a coma, confused. Mm-hmm. They took over a Fire Nation ship so they could get mm-hmm. out of there, which is very smart. The Earth Kingdom has fallen, S- like really bad. Yeah, like bad, bad. And no, but are there yeah. any? So there are Fire Nation people there, like. Yeah, they're occupying. Out. They're occupying it. Okay. Because yeah, uh, May, or I mean, not May, uh, uh, Azula, like, peaced out. They, yeah. all, like, all the head people just were like, okay, bye. Yeah, they're, they're, ju- they've just, like, yeah, they're occupying. It's they're like, like, we did our job. It's like now Germany you guys take and care. France, you know, like. Dude, uh, they have the walk and everything. Yeah, it always reminds me of that visual of, like, the Eiffel Tower, and then there's just all, you know, that historical photo, and then, mm-hmm. like, all the, the, the German soldiers, soldiers are just, like, walking through because they now have taken France. Terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. We saw the baby cry. <laughs> yeah, we baby saw... Baby Hope. Ba- baby Hope. Baby Hope was crying. Yeah. I was like, not Hope. Yeah. No. Like, they fled here for a better life, and now they're fucked. Yeah, no, that's taken not over. Cool. And it's... It was very much, like, a touch... It kind of also reminded me of, like, you know the... Uh, the what? Why? Well, I, I think I can say it. It's fine. There's that scene in The Lion King... That are like the they're walking oh, it's the yeah. be prepared and it's the be hyenas prepared. marching like literal fucking German soldiers like yeah. Nazis Literally and it's like, like the fucking, whoa yeah the Third Reich yeah I was <laughs> like, like yikes dude <laughs> so I thought that was crazy so let's talk about um the father oh the father the father the father dynamics everything okay we're fine dad I'm Dakota Guitar and father you know we're gross are in the middle I just called you dad didn't I. Oh my god. Yes, you're right. <laughs> nice to officially meet you, Chief Lakota. It's an honor to meet you. Great, great. Now you guys have finally met, so would you mind giving us a little privacy? Of course. So 16. Oh my gosh, what a little 16 year old. Your dad or something? What? Not at all. Why would you say that? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, Katara? He left. Why? Okay, May Whitman. Dang. He just took his glider and disappeared. Tim, but doesn't he know how much that we need him too? How can you just leave us behind? You're talking about me too, aren't you? How could you leave us, Dad? Oh, there and it is. Grand Grand, and she loved us, but, but we were just so lost without you. OMG. I'm so sorry, Katara. <laughs> I understand why you left. I really do. Trauma healing. So why what do I doing? still feel this way? I'm so sad and angry and hurt. I love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the daddy issue scene is very interesting. Uh, they they play the um. You have Zuko's scene with his dad at the same time, intercutting with Katara, which I think I just love it when. And- Things do that anyway, and it's awesome because you see like one father loving and understanding of their child, you know, and they're reconnecting, and then you see one that they're not really reconnecting. Mm-hmm. It's just it's not actually a genuine conversation. He's not really interested in like praising Zuko. He just wants to like know if the Avatar is alive, and yeah, like, he's like playing a game. Just it's as very much one as, way, one yeah, way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Zuko walks in there hoping to reconnect with his father, but he's more like, yeah, dude. Good job. Good job. I hope the Avatar is actually fucking dead. And then he, like, leaves. Yeah, everyone, and ev- poor Zuko, everyone's fucking with his mind. Like, if everyone yeah. would have just been like, nice job, he's dead. Yeah. Like, that's it, he's dead. Then, like, he would be, like, totally in a different mindset. But everyone's like, I hope he's dead. <laughs> and Azula's like, I think, is he? Yeah. And he's just like. I love Zuko's hair up, though. You know, and his, you know. Oh, really? Oh, I like it down. You like it down? Yeah, I like it down. It's great. Which it's is cool. weird, because I do not, like. I normally am. That's I normally do not like hair like that. Scraggly kind of. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't like hair. Yeah, yeah. Your hair looks good though. Okay. I don't want. I don't want you to think. I was just about to say like I don't like long hair, but I'm. I just want to be like I like your hair though. Oh, I'm getting a haircut soon anyway. So are you fine. really? Not are you like gonna it. do the thing again so you have yeah, more yeah, the mullet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I will be the first to admit I was wrong. I like to cut. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit. Um, no, but I, I thought specifically with Katara and her dad. Yeah. The w- the acting was so good. May-, May Whitman had rent due. Uh yeah. <laughs> she was, going she so was hard. putting everything in. Yeah. And I just like the just the words that she was I was like, "Oh wow, like any yeah. girl with any daddy issues ever, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and watch that. It's pretty therapeutic." <laughs> um it it like it, they just did it so well. Like they yeah. like the way that they yeah. made her, she didn't seem like pitiful or 
like bratty. Well, she understands why her dad left, but it still sucked. Yeah, you know what I and mean? I I liked that she. I liked that she was still saying, like, I understand why you did it, but I'm so angry at you. I'm so angry yeah, and sad yeah. still, and I don't... Like, I like that she wasn't just like, I understand. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. And, well, like, she yeah. was resolved within herself. Because ultimately, like, it takes a long time Multiple to resolve. things can be true. It's like, I understand why you did something, but that doesn't also invalidate that I'm mad that mm-hmm. it happened. You know what I mean? I thought it was just so well yeah. done. And it shows, yeah. like her maturity like she's coming into her maturity a lot yeah she's growing up they're all growing up yeah because they've all had to be like these like little young adults space like yeah they grew up really fast they grew up so fast and they've been on their own this entire time and so then one to just have like a parental figure nearby then Mm. is so jarring yeah like very just like frustrating i think yeah and it immediately is putting you back into that like child role so then she's having to like feel all these feelings again and i just loved that so much It's like when you go back home and your parents tell you things and they talk to you like you're a kid and Uh you're like i'm 24 i know i'm not like an old man Uh but like i also am just like not a child well it reminds me of like when i like when i well number one like when you first go to high school and you're like (laughs) such a you think that you're so fucking cool and then you come home and they're like did you like yeah and they treat you like your age they literally treat you like your age but also especially when you first come home from college yeah and you're just like dude when i have kids man that's gonna be awful (laughs) i don't am i gonna that's deters me from even having awful is like is like having like a shitty 16 year old in my house being so annoying i'm like yeah oh god thankfully i was like I wasn't bratty as a kid. I was just like Yeah, weird. outgoing. Yeah. I was just weird though. So I was just like in my room all day, which <laughs> I would prefer than like a shitty kid who's like pissing me off all the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not that saying that Katara is that, but like, you know, like a bratty child. Yeah, she was. It was funny though when she was being <laughs> mean, like literal straight up mean so to him. Mean to when he was he was, he was like, like, "Hey, are you okay? We're fine." We're fine. Thanks. And and he was like, "Hi." She was like, "Hi, dad." And he was like introduced. He was like, "Hi, I'm I'm Katara's father." And she's like, "Yeah, I think he knows that. I just called you dad." I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> I like how she shit. had her hand on Aang, and Aang went, "Nice to meet nice you." Nice to meet you. And did like <laughs> thing. I'm like, also Aang is such a good kid. Yeah, he's such yeah. a good kid. But even in this episode, so moving on, he's like, you know, he he has his own. the The roles have now reversed. Totally you know, reversed. A, a, uh, you know, Zuko has been chasing his honor and his redemption, and mm-hmm. now Aang. Sort of has to as well. Yeah. You know, like his his, his own like failures as well. Yeah. Um, he needs his honor back and then that fade into Zuko is pretty great. Dude, it's so good. And yeah. I... Well, those two characters have always mirrored each other. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so. which is really... Uh, I'm just so frustrated with Zuko, but it's fine. It's yeah. Fine. Because yeah. I can tell it's eating at him. Yeah. Like he's not just like strutting around like a dick. And he knows, he knows it's like, you know what I mean? Like... He knows he did something wrong. Yeah, but what's frustrating is he knows he did something wrong, and now he's, like, doubling down on wanting to kill the Avatar. Because he has to. You know what I mean? I feel like that's also... Yeah. If you fuck up, and then you... It's like you do something fucked up, and you're like, well, I guess we're here now. Yeah, well... You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. I... It's frustrating, though, that, like, he's just still not seeing it, and I totally Mm. thought he would by now yeah. like he's just still not seeing that like well he's finally he got what he wanted and i think yeah. he's now realizing that it's not as good as he thought it was gonna be yeah you it's like when I mean? it's like when you tell a lie and you like are telling your lie and you're like no i definitely believe this this is definitely the truth but you know it's fucking not and then it's like just slowly catching up with you yeah he's getting that ass though Oh May from May. Oh my God, they are tongue kissing full on. He was like, he was. She's never been so happy. I'm like, dude, Zuko's putting down that work. He's doing something right. He's been pent up for yeah. He's been on the run in the Earth Kingdom. Which I'm kind of and like, was this in the f- first episode or the second episode when he was like, I love how you hate the world. <laughs> I was like, oh the next my, episode, that's yeah. the next episode. Just so <laughs> moody, but dude, he's putting it down. I know. What's kind of he's interesting 16, though? He's a fucking jackrabbit, dude. Yeah. I- <laughs> He's, he's pent up, young, dumb, and full of cum, you know? <laughs> I hate that so much. I hate it, I hate it. I think, I'm, like, not mad at him and May, though. 
being together. Sense. It makes a lot of sense. Well, you're a, a are you a I Zutara shipper? I was so shipper? hard a Zutara shipper, but now that I'm just like, that'll yeah. never happen. And you know what? I don't know if I really want, I don't think I want it anymore. Okay. okay. I don't know. I wouldn't be yeah. mad if it happened, but I'm kind of yeah. like super digging the Zuko and May because they yeah. make each other happy. Yeah. Like that's like, that's kind of like two, the two emo kids. Dude, two emo kids <laughs> hanging out on the grass. I'm yeah. like, of fucking course. They're, that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. I just think I, I thought this was a really good first episode. I wasn't yeah. mad at the episode at all. But so, Aang has yeah. that. So let's Aang. talk about the redemption arc. Well, Aang, Aang, yeah, I know. And then Aang goes off in this, like, I don't know, like, where he's going because he's like. He's you know. just like out. He's like, I'm just go. I have to redeem my honor, and then just goes out and like. Well, he has to live up to this expectation of being the Avatar, you know. Yeah, but I'm like, where the fuck are you going? Yeah. Like yeah. the like, yeah, I get that, but like, hey, you're just going <laughs> yeah. with no plan, and you're you yeah. have like eight broke. All of your ribs are broken. Yeah, he's like, and you have a literal <laughs> hole in your fucking back. I like how he's like fully bandaged. Fully bandaged, a giant crater in his fucking bag. Yeah. And then he's just like, I'm going to go out and like defend my honor. I'm like, with what? Yeah. With yeah. what? Yeah, and then he has Your like- Your fucking hair? I don't some, think so. I mean, so. he has his own existential crisis right now. Yeah. And then Roku visits him. Yeah. His, his TV turns on and his- Ro- like, Yeah, Roku- <laughs> His Roku turns on. His his Roku, he's in Roku City all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. And Roku's floating above him, and he's like trying to talk sense into him. Yeah. And Aang is like, I don't think so. I don't think so. And then uh, What's-Her-Face comes in. Moon. UA. UA comes in and is yeah. like, you should do this. And he's like, okay. Well, it's just, you know, it's funny because like Roku's like, it's my fault. But it's yeah. kind of both their fault. I mean, they're both the Avatar. They're both the like, Avatar, but like... Yeah, I mean, because Roku, you'll find out. It's like he said it on me. The war, it'll be, it's gonna be cool. I'm excited for that. Um, I'm very excited for that. But uh, yeah, so he gets a little boost from UA. Yeah, <laughs> it was just like, like that was awesome. That yeah. was so cool. Yeah, and he, she was like, here, you can hang out on this uh, volcano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He wakes up it, it, it literally like, clo- so close to like active lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wakes up on Pompeii. Uh huh. He's, like, he's like, what the fuck. And then his friends come because they always come. Yes. Yeah. Because somehow they found him because that's just <laughs> how it happens. That's, yeah, they um, always come. And they always come. And uh, and then they're just like, yeah. And then he finally sees, he's like, yeah, actually what's best is for me to be yeah. incognito. Yeah. Which and is good because bur- it is true. And he burns his glider. Dude, he burns the... F- I'm like, how are you going to get around now, bro? He can't, I mean, he, he shouldn't use it anyway. <laughs> no. It's pretty obvious. You see some dude flying in the air. It's like, like oh, it's I think avatar. that's the Avatar. <laughs> yeah. Like, no one else can some do that. dude with arrows just, like, flying in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he burns it and, you know... Yeah, now it's done. He's born again in the fire. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, like a phoenix. He is a phoenix rising. I love little Aang Phoenix. Um, so that was a great... It was a great opening episode. Yeah. And was I was good. very happy with Set it. Set the tone for season three. Yes. Should we get into... Absolutely. Episode two? The headband. Book three fire! The headband! Time I touch that All right, jacket. Zuko, what do you have for me? How are you going to disappoint me today? <laughs> Ta-da! Normal kid. How do I look? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hot as fuck. Uh, Be cool. They look good. Or as they say in the Fire Nation, stay flaming. <laughs> Episode two, blurb. Um, where'd it go? Uh, the Footloose episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aang enrolls in a school and witnesses some Fire Nation history rewrites. Iroh gives Zuko the cold shoulder. Aang has gained some riz while in a coma all of a sudden and puts some moves on Katara um, after their dance party. And then Zuko hires a man with a f- vagina forehead tattoo. There it is. There it is. That, that, um, I hope I'm not insulting some like culture that's like that's. <laughs> Hey, you might be, but you know what? <laughs> that's his third eye. Someone will let us know. I'm, I'm sure someone will let us know. That, if that's we're his third someone. eye. Yeah. That's his uh, ash mark in Ash Wednesday. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> his little dot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know when they don't even do a whole cross? They're just like... Talk about... So they get the disguises. Yeah, because they have to like live in the Fire Nation, Uh huh. And they all look super hot. Yeah. Red is all of their colors. <laughs> yeah. They look incredible in the color red. <laughs> yeah. Um, they all look, yeah, they all look pretty good. Aang, yeah, you know they all, and then Aang gets a suit, but it's a yeah, it's a kid's co- it's a it's a kid's uniform. Yep, they they steal the clothes uniform. for the greater good. Yeah, um, and so he goes to school. Yeah, well, Katara has her hair up and everything, and like, well, she has it just like here. Her all of her hair is down. Yeah, it's wavy, and it's like wave. It's like beach waves. Oh yeah, my God, it's we were by insane. the beach, and my hair didn't really wave. It kind of just went 
like up. Yeah, I just went kind of frayed up. and up. Yeah, yeah, no, not not like Katara's. Katara's is gorgeous. I know she has this wavy hair. I could and only then, dream of Katara's hair. And then Aang has all this Fire Nation slang. Flamio. Yeah, he's a uh, Flamio. Hotman. 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 Stay flaming. Stay flaming. <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, flaming. where is Guy Fieri? Where is fucking Guy Fieri with his food truck? Oh, I need like him fire here. Fire puns. There, it's awesome. And then, and then, um, but he's wearing literally a uniform. Did you? You, you didn't go to a private school, so you didn't have to no. wear a uniform. I, w- I wanted, I wanted us to have uniforms because I thought, mm. I think, I think that uniforms take away like class stuff. In public schools, it's so evident, like classes like like a uh, uh, class of severity and all of that yeah. just with people's clothes yeah. and so if you take that away there's that whole barrier that is gone i think the worst part of that is like in my high school we had uh we had uniforms but then we also like the new uniforms are like dry fit polos and they were like way more expensive oh. so then i just went to the th- the thrift store, because they yeah. a thrift store that's associated with the high school. Uh-huh. But then <laughs> you would know who, like, who bought those polos. Fuck yeah. Because like, the polo it looks like it's from 2004. Yeah, it's like cotton and thick. Yeah, yeah. But they looked cooler, in my opinion, than the dry fit bullshit that we yeah. were all wearing. But um, I don't know. Uniforms are kind of lame. I mean, it did, it did, take, it did take a lot Oh, out of like you know having to pick an outfit out. Uh, yeah, just, and like, also then these you get to like buy clothes that you actually like like and you can express yourself with and yeah. are not just school appropriate. Like there, we had so I had so many clothes that I was like, this is so like I don't want to be wearing this right now, but yeah. like this is the only version of this that I can wear for it being school appropriate. Right. What so, was school appropriate? What was the I mean, we. I mean, you just couldn't wear like spaghetti straps and what was like the, shorter what was shorts. The, the shorts not past the fingertips. Yeah, it couldn't be past the fingertips. But I'm very lucky because I have a long torso and short arms. Yeah, it had to be past yeah. the fingertips. Uh, but I had a long. I have a long torso and short arms, so I could wear like booty booty shorts and I yeah. get away with it. I, I, I all my my shorts were like five inch inseam like they are now. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, like, uh, but. Um. Yeah. So he's in a uniform, mm-hmm. and then he gets dragged into this Fire Nation school. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And, and they're this, like, erasing history, yeah. and he gets a little touch of it. It's like you get a little bit like, oh, he. You don't see the whole extent of it, but yeah. like fully. Yeah. Because yeah, he. They. They're like. Um. They're like. When did he? When did Sozin battle the? Uh. The Air Nation army, and he's like, they didn't really have. A military. Yeah, like there was so, no military. It was taken by force. It's kind of like when we learn like U.S. history, uh-huh. and they're always like, "Yeah, that was like a hundred percent necessary what we did there." And I'm always like, "Was it? Was it? Though? I'm always I'm reading all this shit that we're like, yeah. So we took this land, and then you know we had like Thanksgiving, but then like it yeah. was fine because we gave them like Every- so much stuff." <laughs> Could have just been quiet. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Since it's obviously hilarious to mock our national oath, we'll begin with a pop quiz on our great march of civilization. Great march of civilization. Yikes. Question war. What year did Fire Lord Sozin battle the Air Nation Army? Kuzon? Is that a true question? The Air Nomads didn't have a formal military. Sozin defeated them by ambush. <laughs> well, I don't know how you could possibly know more than our national history book, unless you were there a hundred years ago. <laughs> I'll just write down my best guess. Look at them changing history. Yeah, everyone was so... They came over, and we had dinner with everyone, and they yeah. were so pleased. And it was all good, and we brought, like, you know, all this stuff of that they needed. And yeah. Stuff, and we're like, mm. And uh, we, used to, like, totally drank the Kool-Aid in elementary school, yeah. and even in middle school, and most likely even in high school as well. Did you have to do... Because like, um, they did the Pledge of Allegiance. Did you have to do the Pledge of Allegiance in high school? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I grew up in Kansas. <laughs> yeah. I think we did it. Uh, did we do it every day? I yeah. Yeah. Every day, morning we one, bell. We had one to the 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 Lutheran flag. <laughs> it's like a I've, Lutheran flag. I didn't even know the Lutherans had a flag. It's like a white one with a a, squ- a blue square and a red cross. Of course it is. And so we had to do that one too. And I'm like, you had to do the Pledge of Allegiance twice, or there was a different pledge. Did was you a have to say like, an, uh, was I it like an allegiance al- to the cross? Was it like the Lord's Prayer? Did you just do the Lord's no, Prayer? No, no, no. That would have made like, more sense. 
Yeah, no, but it was like a, a fucking whole other <laughs> allegiance. That's so funny. They do a little thing in this. They do the little thing what where they the do bow? their... Well, and then they turn around and say like the, yeah, yeah, the thing, and yeah. Aang should have just kept his mouth shut. And <laughs> yeah. for some reason, he was like... Uh, da, uh, da, uh, da. I like He's how being they, goofy. they have the to your elders. Do you have to do anything yeah. like that? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I just we, have to like hug my grandparents. You have to grab. It's called monopo. It means I want the blessing. It's like you. you so with old people, they put their like hand go like out, this, and you have to go like this ah! when you walk in. But like, are you like waiting for the day? You're like, I'm ticking down to age 47 where I can go. I think once you hit 60. Oh, so like you have 60, a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think it would be funny if like I like my little cousins that are like two. I'm like, do it. I'm like, do it. Do it, bitch. Um, That's hilarious. But yeah, no, there was some definite, definite erasure of erasure, erasure yeah. of history. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, it's funny because the more I learn about certain American history things, I'm like, wow, we really like were kind of told from obviously a certain perspective. But it's like even like North Korea, you know, they're told that, you know, Americans are like trying to kill you all the time or like well, you know they're even the simple thing uh jc was saying that he has a friend who um right that you were telling me that um they're they won't let their kids on tiktok someone was telling someone was telling me how they won't let their kids on tiktok um because it's different like in uh is it china yeah. all of tiktok for kids is like all educational stuff it's only like there's restrictions. It's only like educational stuff and whatever. And over here, like it's completely unrestricted. So it's like yeah. all of their kids are getting like super fucking smart, and all of our kids are getting like super dumb. <laughs> That's probably also what getting it is. a little bit of that propaganda. Probably. Oh, in I'm there, sure. Uh, on occasion. On occasion. Oh, uh, constantly. I'm sure. But yeah. yeah. So that was really interesting, and I'm interested to see more of that. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was really cool because Aang was so intent on, like, staying and wanting to fight for the kids. Yeah. Because he is older. I mean, he's, like, a hundred and whatever years yeah. old. But I think also to change a nation, you have to change the youngest generation of that nation. You yes. You know what I mean? Yes. That's and why I, we have to take it upon ourselves to, to, to better this country. Yep. As yep. much as we can. As much as we possibly can. <laughs> um, please pay your teachers because they're the ones who are <laughs> fucking... Yeah. The more we pay teachers, the more, like, better they'll do, I think. Yeah. Just yeah. in... Also, like, that's just how it works. Like you pay people more money and yeah. they're just like more, yeah, you know, willing to work, but whatever. So I thought it was really cool though how he was so excited and wanting them. Like he wasn't letting the yeah. fire na like the elders or whatever deter him yeah. from like making sure that these kids at least had a little bit mm. of that before they had to bounce. I mean, we're seeing it now with the way people handle education, right? Like, oh uh, yeah, like, it's don't, a mess. Hey, don't t teach kids this thing. And I'm like, mm, yeah, but it's kind of part of history. I don't yeah. think you could just like teach kids that slavery wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. That is fucking crazy. Oh, school, school's dicey, man. That's like, you know, that's it's really important that your yeah. kids are learning, you know. The things about slavery and, and this is us who have race. no kids telling you guys <laughs> well just having like you know teaching them a lot of things you yeah. don't want to go to a school that restricts what you learn yeah fuck because no. of, you know like clearly like even you know bringing it back to avatar they don't know anything about they don't anything know anything else, outside yeah. of the perspective of like i they even um what was fuck what was it called the colonies no they called it um uh, march of Civilization. <gasps> yeah. Where, where they're like the Fire Lord's March of Civilization when it's like, you mean the war? The war? The literal war? You know, like imperialism? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know? It, yeah, that was very interesting. You know, it's even like when, you know, they talk about the Iraq War when they're like, yeah, this is 100% because of terror. I'm like, is yeah. it also because of oil? Yeah. Is it also because we're backing Israel? Yeah. And it's pissing off a lot of the people that we're trying to do business with? Yeah. So we're also trying to like, Occupy Iraq, so I'm like, look, because this also came out in like 2004 when we were like in the yeah. thick of it, and it's so funny. Yeah, because I feel like we had to say the Pledge of Allegiance more often when we were in the Iraq War. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember in like 2004, we're like, we would do this shit every fucking day, and I'm oh, like, oh yeah. Okay, yeah I think it's fine. also isn't it required for schools that you do the Pledge of Allegiance every morning? Maybe. I, I think know. it might be. I really have no idea, but I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the uh, power of dance. Oh yeah. It's so fucking communal. The, and the footloose this is the footloose episode. This is literally the footloose episode. And I think it's so interesting. Um I love number one, Katara and Aang's dance was so spicy. Oh yeah. It was so well, beautiful. Well, because she got jelly because Aang She 
did well, get jelly. Well, when Ann got to school, he already pulled a baddie. A little yeah, cute, he did. She cute was little so, girl. She was so adorable. I yeah. was like, this is a good, cute little girl. And She's then, of adorable. course, she has like some boyfriend. Who sucks. I bet they're not exclusive. It, to him, he, he to I him know. they are. They're probably still just talking. I bet <laughs> he's getting something else on the side. I think he's an asshole. Oh, of course. I think he's a total asshole. But yeah, no, the dance was gorgeous. Don't talk to my Anji. Yeah, well, my Anji. Well, well, he was, um, you know, doing the his normal school things, uh-huh. and then they said they don't dance and they restrict it. Yeah, and he the, he, he was like, you can march in place quietly if you want. He's I'm a like. Fuck. Well, it's it's interesting because it's like Aang was around a hundred years ago, and he's like, these are all things that we used to do in the yeah. Fire Nation, and then they're like, well, ever since the March of Civilization, we don't do that we don't, anymore. Don't, we don't dance anymore. It's not a thing. It's like, well, that's fucking crazy because dancing yeah. is awesome. Yeah, and then they well before we get into the the spicy dance, they did have this one really funny fight scene. <laughs> Some Flash Thompson versus Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> This dude sucks. He's a really embarrassing. Ah! Ooh! Between the legs. <laughs> he just beat himself up. He just falls. The though. way that his arms went. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. It was like a Peter Parker so and what's his Flash face? Thompson Flash fight. Thompson it's, fight. It's so funny because he's like... He's like, I could show you these moves if you like. And then he's like, what did you say? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He's, like, he's like, no one shows my Anji anything, especially movements. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? He knows Aang trying to fuck. That's yeah, why. yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> he's right. Like, he knows, he, especially movements. Yeah. Like, okay. I like how Aang's like, I can show you if you like. I'm like, yo, talk it. He and the... the they were Millie Rockin'. Yeah. Fire well, Nation Millie Rock. And then like they had their... Like, you know... Ang Bacon is like saying we should do a dance party so we could like you know yeah cause teach these kids individuality yeah dance because you used to dance. I used to dance I used to dance and I thought it was so fun that like they were ugly dancing I feel like so I it's not actually ugly but growing up I would get so mm. because I like was classically trained so i like didn't know how to just like dance fun a- dance like party mm-hmm. dance yeah. and i would get so anxious and like angry like literally yeah. anxious and angry like i remember this one time we were on a family ski trip or whatever and like all of my cousins were like in this like dance circle and i was sitting on the side and my mom like got so angry at me <laughs> and I was like so yeah. such a bitch back I was like I'm not doing this I'm not doing this and I like ran away because I was terrified of like <laughs> dancing bad and yeah. I didn't it wasn't until I really got to college and then stopped dancing completely yeah. for a while that I was like oh this is actually way more fun and yeah, like yeah. dance has so much more of an expression than just like mm. an eight count yeah. and I it, it was cool to watch like that being celebrated which was really fun uh anytime shout out to my friend andrew anytime we go out people are always looking at us because we're going so hard because like i'm not even i'm only one drink in and i'm like i'm like sticking my tongue out yeah yeah yeah. like just going like this you're jiving last last night i was at this like bar and we were all dancing and then this girl goes up to me she's like are you an aquarius oh and i was like no and she's like, I was like, I'm a Virgo. Then she's like, oh. <gasps> and then I was like, what? And she's like, well, you seem like an Aquarius because you just don't give a fuck. And I'm like, yeah, because there were people definitely look because I was drunk. And then I'm just like, Ew! and then I'm looking around and people were like, like just like so staring. confused. You know, uh, like come on, man. Like you, what are you gonna? I'm not gonna be the dude that has like the drink in his hand in his pocket. He's, he's just like, like, no, not even that. He's just like. Like, that sucks. That's not fun. Yeah, are you, like, you know, like, I, I get it if you're anxious, but there's sometimes when people are like, I don't want to look stupid. That Why do you want to look? It doesn't matter. You're, it doesn't matter. No one cares. Yeah. No, no one, one fucking cares. Just move your body. It <laughs> feels fucking good. You, there's always just that one dude that's like... He's just oh above God. it all. And I'm just like, come on. Dude, you're at a club in K-Town. It's fine. Like, no one cares. No, one no one's watching. Fuck. No one cares. Yeah. It drives... It's, it's like the same people that won't do karaoke. They're just like, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm like, oh, because I'm tone deaf and I sound like a screeching bird and you better believe I'm getting up there and screaming I, a song. I only get nervous at karaoke if it's at a bar with like- a, When like, people are just like hanging out. It's not yeah. like specifically only karaoke. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I like it when it's like your own private room. Yeah. We should do that for my birthday. 
We could do that for your birthday. That would be fun. Okay, yeah, we'll do karaoke. All right, we're doing karaoke. But I like when you have your room, but like, I remember when I was at a bar and it was like a, people were like hanging out and I'm like, uh, now I'm nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, now I'm, like, I'm a little now afraid. I'm nervous. Yeah, but no, I thought that was really cool that yeah. they, he wasn't trying to like, because he also recognizes that these are kids. Yeah, so he wasn't, he didn't get everyone together and start like teaching them the correct history. Not be, not because that would have been wrong because it wouldn't have been wrong, right. but they probably just would have been confused and like, it really wouldn't have done anything. Yeah. And he's like, let your body just move. Man. Yeah. And you know? so them doing that was so cool. And also I love that they were not snitching. Yeah. That was not a group of snitchers. And uh, that was awesome. They, um, um, and then, uh, and then Aang started dancing with whatever her face was, and Katara got some jealous. Dude, she was so jealous. She was so she's jelly. Like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, the Sokka's like, they look pretty good together, and she's like, I guess. I guess so. Damn. And then Aang put in the Riz. Dude, she's he like, was I working don't know. hard. I like my shoes. Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, like, take my hand. Ugh. I was like, and he dropped that line when she's like, everyone's looking at us, and he's it's like, just it's just you, you and me. me. I was oh. like. Ah! And they're both Dang. sweating, and he does the Dang. dip. I was like, oh, oh and they my almost gosh. kissed. They, they, they were like, they went, zoom. And then they laughed. And then I was like, damn. Oh, bro. I'm ready for them. And then she gave him a peck on the cheek when yeah. they left, when they like, because yeah. they escaped, because of course the asshole boyfriend like snitched on them. And so they come back and yeah. they are like looking for him. And all of them are just like, who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Which was a little bit terrifying, but I'm like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. And so they escaped. And she gave him a peck on the cheek. She yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And I was like, when is this going to be on the mouth? Aang's in. Aang's in. Oh, they're in. They're in love with each other yeah. now. He's, like, they're both on the same page now. I think he's finally creeping out of the friend zone. I th He's like, he's like inch by <laughs> fucking inch. He is just like well, trying to get there. I think, honestly, it's probably when he died that she was mm. like, damn. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> then even after, yeah, she's always like, are you dead. okay? And I'm like... The hand placement. Yeah. Also, he just, I can't believe the fucking crater in his back. <laughs> that was honestly disgusting. That's what my chest looked like when I got burned. Yeah, Justin got burned. I did burn myself very viciously. <laughs> viciously on his chest and his hand. They've, they've healed pretty well after like, And a little bit on your arm, no? Yeah. yeah, there you go. It's crazy because I have, uh, like, there's parts of my fingers that the skin's just falling off. Yeah. That, like, I, I think it wasn't that burnt mm -hmm. visually, mm -hmm. but it was burnt. Yeah. So, like, there's, like, a there's like parts of my finger that was started peeling, and I was like, I didn't notice a burn there, but I guess it did get burnt. You're Fire Nation. I know. You're Fire Nation I now, bro. I thought Zuko. I felt like Zuko. <laughs> and, and you're screaming up into the heavens, come on! I, uh, I did. I, I lost, know. I lost my voice because I... Were you alone screaming or were there people no. around? I mean, people on the, their cars driving but, by. But like, was there someone around you? Like, was no. there someone that was with you? No, I was by myself. Okay, I couldn't, because I was just, I was honestly picturing, I thought there was someone else with you. And so I was just picturing them like in the passenger seat, like. No. My hand, and you're just like on your hands and knees like. Ah! The coolant exploded. My hand is like, the skin's falling off my hand. And I screamed. It's kind of sad but funny at the same time. I screamed, why me? <laughs> <laughs> Out loud. Because I like hurt. You know, I had a catastrophic leg injury. And then now I have like a. And the, and I the have whole an industry in, is shut down. The, and then I have this <laughs> intense burn. And I'm in the. It's 120 degrees outside. And oh, I couldn't get service. And I screamed, service. why me? God, that's so. That's so like heartbreaking <laughs> my heart is like shattered in a million pieces but it's so funny it's funny you know when you're far enough removed it's hilarious yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So it's fine there's been time there's been plenty of time for us to like it's not too soon so that's I, okay. i literally lost my voice because i went why me and i call my mom and i'm screaming and sobbing and i'm like i'm not even a bad person <laughs> And my hands, the skin of my hand is like it falling is off. Mangled. And she's like, just breathe. It's and just hamburger. Like, You're just ha walking hamburger. You know, if this was just like anywhere else, it would have been not a big deal. But oh. just the fact that I was in the stranded in the desert. Yeah, that is, that's what a backdrop. <laughs> what a backdrop for a breakdown. I know. There that's was like tough. a guy who's fixing his truck. And I was like, do I talk to him? <laughs> do I like, nope. I was like, I don't want to nope, bother nope, this nope. guy. But um, these were two really, really good episodes. Yeah, season like three season three begun. is solid. I cannot wait to continue watching them. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. 
There's no, so there's good. no really slow episode. I feel like there's always something happening. There's some going on, and yeah. oh, and and really quick, Zuko hires this guy. Um, oh my god, we almost completely forgot to talk about Iro. And, and Iro, <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, we have to cover this really fast because we're running out of time. But yeah. Iro, Iro's all sad. Is so sad. He's so heartbroken, and he's pro. I, I, you know, like he's so yeah. angry. Yeah, he is so fucking angry. And you hurt. know, I he doesn't say a word, and I don't know if it's also because the voice actor passed. I wonder. And so, but maybe that is the part of the story they were telling. Mm. But I know he passed before they started season three, mm-hmm. and I guess they were like, I mean, it makes sense narratively. Yeah, that he would just kind of give Zuko the cold shoulder mm-hmm. and not talk, but also, but he does talk eventually. Yeah. I, okay. Whatever. Yeah, I know he does. He does. Uh, he does. So, but like, you know what I mean? Like for the yeah. majority of season three. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially for these these few chunks of episodes. He's I was l- really looking forward to hearing his voice. But he can't. He has to let Zuko do his thing, man. Zuko's on his own now, and as he should yeah. be. As he, he fucking should be. He needs to learn. So but it was sad. Zuko, oh, Iroh started crying because he knows he wants to help, but he can't. He right wants now. to help, but he's but he's also just like he doesn't get it yet. He still doesn't fucking get it. And now yeah. Zuko went and hired this vigilante to go and <laughs> find Aang and kill him. Yeah, yeah. Which is just like this terrifying. Dude with the third eye blind over there. So yeah, literally. I'm like, okay, I wish relax. You would step back from that, that ledge, ledge, my friend. friend. No, yeah. this guy's like running towards the ledge. He <laughs> yeah. is sprint in a dead sprint toward the end. Um, you know so that's yeah. the band though, Third Eye Blind. Yeah, I know that's okay, a band. Okay. I didn't I know, know if you were getting the fucking band, dude. <laughs> I didn't know you were getting the. Oh my or not. god. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, mm. all right. I got. I don't yeah. give you enough credit. <laughs> yeah, and Third Eye Blind. Um. So yeah, I'm super, super excited for the rest of this season. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun. I one. don't really have any predictions because I don't. Yeah. yeah. I really thought Zuko was gonna teach him fire, but I don't see. And I, and you then I was like, somehow. okay, I think Iro is going to teach him, but he's in fucking prison. So I, d- I just don't... <laughs> he's straight up in prison. He's literally in prison. So I just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but I do think that uh, Aang and Katar are going to get together. That's good. I do think that... Um, Katang. Katang! Um, coming up on, the, on our Patreon... Starting next month, which is September, um, I'm going to be covering A Court of Thorns and Roses, chapter by chapter. So if you want to follow along, do it. Um, <laughs> and I will, I promise to do the mystery stuff. And Justin will be doing mystery <laughs> stuff. I, I, I uh, have neglected it. I have them ready to go. Yeah. I've watched And you can still, you're not a part of SAG and I'm not affiliated with your episodes. So you can oh, still do. I forgot that that was a yeah, thing Yeah. You can still do those episodes if you, those movies if you'd like, I think. Yeah. Well, I also, <coughs> I also put in the calendar that I never did. Uh, nice. Samurai movie Sunday. So I could do all these foreign. There you go. Uh, Kurosawa movies. That would be great. So we could do those. So watch out for that on the patreon subscribe to our youtube comment um tell us what you think about the first two episodes of avatar season three and follow us on all of our social media spicy tuna pod and subscribe to our life bye hey everyone thanks for tuning in to spicy tuna pod you can like follow subscribe at spicy tuna pod you can watch us on youtube and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcasts